There is something hardly anyone tells you about the Louis Vuitton key pouch, but you should really know. Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. We have to take a closer look at the Louis Vuitton key pouch, the infamous pochette clé. Starting on a somewhat educational note, many here on YouTube call it the key clé, including me. I heard that phrase so often that I just picked it up and now it's very hard to get rid of it again. But clé is the French word for key. So basically key clay would be totally doubled up and unnecessary key key. It's either pochette clé, the French name, or key pouch in English. And if you're curious, in German it's the Schlüssel etui. But key clay is so deep in my brain that I probably might say it sometimes throughout this video. Sorry in advance. I am aware of it and I'm trying to get better with it. But that's not all I want to share with you today. At the beginning of this year I uploaded a recap video with my 2021 favorites and for SLGs I chose the Louis Vuitton key pouch. A SLG that totally is worth the hype in my eyes is the Louis Vuitton key clay, pochette clay, for keys, for cash, as a little bag charm or for odds and ends in your handbag. And I stated it's totally worth the hype. Looking back I really have to clear that up a little bit. Because first of all, it took me quite a while to even decide that I want one. And when I got my first classic monogram canvas pochette clé directly from Louis Vuitton, I was very disappointed. Beyond disappointed. It really took me quite a while until the key pouch even grew on me. I have to admit, when it finally was, I fell head over heels. Now I am deeply in love. But it has not been like this right from the start. And it seems like I totally forgot and repressed that. So we are going to work it out together in this video so you don't have to go through the same disappointment as I did because I don't know if everyone else really loves that piece right from the start or did everyone who's mentioning it in videos just forget how their first impression has been. I want you to know right from the start what you will get, especially now after the recent price increase. Now that the pochette clay went to 230 euro, 325 dollar. Because all you hear here on YouTube is it's such a great piece. It's so versatile, so functional, you have to have it. When I decided that I finally want to give it a try and get one, one of my main reasons has been that it can function as a bag charm as well. Because I was looking into the Louis Vuitton bag charms for quite a while and always feeling like, nah, they are not worth the price point, especially for the Illustre ones. Why should I pay around 200 euro for a round piece of canvas that has no other function than looking nice and even that is debatable depending on your taste. Looking at it from that standpoint, the Illustre bag charm being around 200 euro and having been at that price point for quite a while and until quite recently the pochette clay having been under 200 euro, for the longest time the key clay was even cheaper than a Illustre bag charm and it had multi-purpose functions, could be used as a decorative additional piece of canvas on your bag. So maybe not even that bad of a deal back in the days. But first things first. I got my very first Louis Vuitton key pouch around 10 years ago. And this is going to be a little digression on the Takashi Murakami white multicolor one. So if you are not interested in the whole backstory, I will leave a timestamp for you here and you can jump right to the juicy part where I'm actually talking about the new model canvas key pouch we all know and love or not. I found that Murakami one at the flea market around 2011-2012 when I just started purchasing Louis Vuitton and back then there was not already that much of a resale hype going on as it is nowadays so it was very possible to find great second-hand deals. I paid around 50 to 60 euro for that one. That's about 60 to 70 dollar and it came with the original invoice from the boutique back in 2004. I still have that invoice somewhere. <laughs> Unfortunately when preparing for this video I couldn't find it. I don't know where I put it and I don't remember the exact price 
but I think for this piece it might have been somewhere around 100 euro. And note here, this is a seasonal multicolor one from a collaboration with the Japanese artist Takashi Murakami. With metal edges and a lot of leather, inside and out. So back in the day, these regular canvas ones were even less than 100. The seller from which I got this key clay, no not key clay, key pouch, sorry. The seller had the matching zippy coin purse as well. And I remember that the multicolor print on that wallet was really worn off. I don't remember exactly how much she asked for, for the zippy piece, but looking back now, probably I should have just bought both of them. But back then I was still going to university, working as a waitress, and even the 50 to 60 euro for that piece were a huge chunk for me to spend on a SLG. So I decided to only pick one, the one that seemed in better condition to me. And I think she even asked for a little bit more on the zippy coin purse thing, because it's an actual wallet, even though the condition was way worse than on this piece. Even though this key pouch already shows quite some signs of use. To be honest, I think I maintained the condition exactly the way it has been when I first got that piece. Because I always had in mind how rubbed off and poor the zippy coin purse from her looked. So this key pouch never made it to an everyday SLG for me. It was right from the start more of a collector's piece. I remember maybe having carried it twice <laughs> in the about 10 years that I owned it. As you see, the Vachetta leather has darkened quite a lot, but at least very evenly. The fabric part is quite dirty and on the corners somewhat fringed out. The multicolor pattern is in quite good condition. If you look at it very, very carefully, you can spot first tiny points where it started to chip off. The inside of the pouch is in very good condition, except that little leather tag, which I find interesting that it got some patina as well, since it is inside of the pouch. The gold metal parts got scratches and the gold wore somewhat off on the zipper pull and the clasp as well. So even though I myself hardly used that piece at all, for the longest time I thought to myself, well, a key pouch, if used on a daily basis, is exposed to so much wear, I don't think it's worth spending Louis Vuitton money on it for me. And I lived quite well with that attitude until early 2020. If I remember it correctly, I think the price point at the beginning of 2020 has still been around 130 euro. So fun fact, a hundred less than it is now after the recent price increase. Only two years later, in 2020 and previous years, everyone was praising it. That this piece is such great value for money. It's so versatile, it's so functional, you have to have it. And probably the price before 2020 was quite good value for money, especially considering the bag charm argument that I mentioned earlier and especially compared to the price point now. When I was starting to really consider buying it, it was at 150 euro, so already 20 euro more. And I felt like if I don't get it now, it will go up to a price point that I'm not willing to spend on such a tiny piece of canvas. So probably it's now or never. Get it now for 150 euro or never. Spoiler alert. Yep, at a later point in time, I got the Louis Vuitton key pouch for 185 euro as well. If everyone loves and praises it that much, it just has to be great, right? Well, in 2020, it was already very hard to get your hands on one of these key pouches. And I was stalking the Louis Vuitton website like crazy to hunt one down. When I started out my hunting, I was open for every canvas pattern out there, but indeed I was lucky to get the monogram one as my first one. And when I was finally able to get one at Louis Vuitton and my package arrived and I opened it up, I was shocked. I was so unbelievably disappointed that I had just spent 150 euro on a tiny piece of canvas. Even though in width, it is thicker than my Murakami one, which was the only one I knew back then to the touch. 
It feels so much more light and flimsy. The limited Murakami one has such a nice, thick, nearly puffy leather interior, while the regular canvas one only has a very thin layer of cowhide. The canvas plus the leather lining is maybe one millimeter together, so the actual use of leather on that piece is just a hint. On top of that, I'm still part of a generation that knows Louis Vuitton for its outstanding quality and craftsmanship, known for perfect symmetries down to the details. A time when a way to spot a Louis Vuitton fake was still by not perfectly uplining monogram. And excuse me, this is not lining up perfectly at all. And on top of that, the seams seem somehow crooked and you can see the stitching. When I got that piece, my first impulse was Louis Vuitton is either f***ing kidding me to sell this piece of poorly stitched together canvas with a hint of leather for 150 euro or I got a fake directly from Louis Vuitton. Have you ever heard about these horror stories where scammers buy authentic items directly from the boutique and then they return a high-end replica of the same item to the store without anyone noticing? And the replica gets unnoticed into the retail cycle, gets unknowingly sold to a poor customer directly at the boutique. I don't know if that's just an awful made-up urban myth or if these things actually happen, but since this piece is so hard to get and whenever it is available on the website it immediately sells, I thought, oh lord, might this have been a return and only therefore I was able to get it? Might this be one of the terrible scammer pieces we've all heard of but don't want to believe it might actually happen? Of course, I did some more research back then in 2020 and I had to realize, probably, it's not a scam. <laughs> it's just Louis Vuitton's quality really isn't anymore what it used to be. And I know we keep throwing around with that phrase to voice our frustration, especially about the constantly repeating price increases. As you probably know a very current topic, I consciously decided not to make a video about because by now it feels like nearly everyone in the Lux community has already covered it and I don't think I could really add something to the conversation. Sometimes it might feel like all the people using the oh the Louis Vuitton quality used to be so much better phrase are all just jumping on the bandwagon. But when preparing this video, I found a video from Ash XL Reviews, where she compares the Louis Vuitton key pouch, one from 2012 and one from 2021. I'm going to link that video for you down in the description box, since it's a very well-made comparison. To me, it's shocking. And it's actual evidence for, oh, the quality at Louis Vuitton used to be so much better. Fast forward to today. By now I own, I think, seven Louis Vuitton key pouches. So I have a whole collection of current ones in the new model canvas style and vintage ones in the rectangular shape. Video of my entire collection to come one day. There are just so many video ideas in my head and it's even hard to decide which one to film next. But I have content ideas for years. So shameless self-promo here, consider subscribing. So obviously something happened and I really started to enjoy that piece. Despite the quality really not being what you would expect to get at a high-end luxury design house. And yes, now I could use the phrase, it's such a great piece, it's so versatile, so functional, you have to have it. And I do, but I do want to warn you as well. And I want to share this with you, so you don't get your expectations up too high for this piece, this tiny piece of stitched together canvas. So you don't get as disappointed as I got with my first Louis Vuitton key pouch from the boutique. I don't know exactly where I stand with the new price point of 230 euro and 325 dollar, if it is still worth it, because we all know that the quality didn't improve and it still is just a tiny piece of canvas lined with the thinnest layer of leather stitched together quite poorly and, depending on your luck, more or less symmetrical. Considering that Louis Vuitton has a higher prestige and a better resale value than many other designer brands, 
I think it's just fair to point out that the price point still seems to be kinda good. And before the increase even was way better than on ones of their luxury competitors. Cause a canvas pouch at Gucci, for example the GG Supreme Key Pouch, retailed for 250 euro and the Orphelia Key Case even for 295. So even after the recent price increase the Louis Vuitton one costs still less. I haven't seen the Gucci ones in person yet, but to be honest I think when they are charging a higher price point than Louis Vuitton does, they probably might come with a noticeably better quality as well. And another alternative for a canvas key pouch that could be worth considering could be the MCM Visetos ones which currently retail for 195 euro and are available in the classic beige color and black. So to sum this video up, even though my relationship to the Louis Vuitton pochette clay started out with the biggest disappointment, because my expectations were so high from everyone praising that piece, it really grew on me. It made it to my favorite SLG of the past year, and for a while I even forgot how disappointed I've been to begin with. So I thought it might be really worth filming this video, especially now that the price is at 230 euro, because now I remembered how disappointed I have been when I received this for 150. And I want you to be prepared what you will get when you spend 230, so that you don't have to discover this huge disappointment yourself. Not going to stop you from getting one though, because it is such a great piece, it is so versatile, so functional, you have to have it. <laughs> Just not too sure about the value for money anymore. Do you own a Louis Vuitton key pouch and did you love it right from the start? Or did it have to grow on you as well? And your first impression was more of a, really, that's it? Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you next time and bye! Clay. Clay. No, 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 what am I doing? So, I should have bought, bought the Zella. Ugh. I'm going to recommend two videos for you to watch next. My favorites of 2021, where I mentioned the pochette clay, and something key pouch related. <laughs> <laughs>